Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today on the show, we have the brand new GTA Online weekly event here to discuss. It actually released, but of course the content schedule has been quite busy here on the channel talking about all the new San Andreas Mercenaries content that released. And so of course this kind of took the back burner for now, but we do actually have a weekly update, but it does get overshadowed every DLC by all the new DLC content that actually releases. So in today's video, we'll be going through all of the weekly changes in a rapid style video format so you can get the news real Real fast, consume it, and jump right back into playing the Mercenaries update here in game. So, as we get started, if you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. Unfortunately, we have no property discounts this week. That's usual with the DLC updates, and that's probably expected by many of you guys. So, you know, don't worry that you're not missing out on any clubhouse, bunker, hangar, facility, nightclub, arcade, or auto shop purchases on discount this week because there are none. Now jumping into all of our vehicle discounts for this week. First, starting off on Legendary Motorsport, we have the Classic Broadway on sale for $555,000. After that, on Warstock Cash and Carry, the V65 Molotov is also on sale for $2,520,000. Interestingly enough, we actually have some changes to the trade prices for both the Manchez Scout, as you can see right here, as well as the Squatty that we're going to be talking about. So the Manchez Scout, the new trade price is $168,750. Over on Elitus Travel, the Havoc is also on sale for $1,211,000. And just checking all the in-game websites, that's about all the discounts we have. So only three vehicles discounted this week. Of course, this is a, a, a new DLC here in GTA Online, so Rockstar's not going to do a whole bunch for the weekly update, but I did kind of want to keep you guys in the loop with this so you can make sure you see everything possible that's included with the weekly update that you may have missed because you're so focused on the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC update. Your podium vehicle this week at the Lucky Wheel from the Diamond Casino and Resort is going to be the Itali GTB, which is a $1.2 million car. It's definitely a vehicle I recommend that you spin the wheel and try and win this week here in GTA Online. Here at the Los Santos Car Meet and Test Track, you can see your prize ride this week is the Imponte Ruiner ZZ8, which is the first time this has ever been the prize ride and the first time that Rockstar has ever like featured this vehicle at all in this game besides releasing it. The only time we saw it was when it released, I think, in the third drip feed week of the Criminal Enterprises update, which was a summer update for 2022. I don't think this vehicle has ever been discounted, but now it's here as a prize ride. In order to unlock this vehicle this week, you need to win th uh, basically a Street Race Series race three days in a row this week. So just three races if you can in total. Just one race, three days in a row, and you're good to go. You can get this vehicle. It's actually pretty nice here in this game, too. So definitely recommend you try and win it this week. As you can see right now, I'm at Simeon's Car Dealership or Premium Deluxe Motorsport, and I know it's very unfortunate that Rockstar removed almost 200 vehicles in this game. I actually uploaded a video basically kind of discussing it and almost sort of ranting about it and why it's like the worst decision that they've ever made with this game, especially after almost 10 years. They're going to slight the players like that. That just makes no sense to me. I mean, it does make sense. You know that they're just trying to push monetization, but it's not cool. It's actually really bad news. But the one thing it does do is actually give a little bit more value to the different vendors that I visit in these weekly updates. So that's exactly what we're going to do because a lot of these cars have actually already been removed. So jumping right in first, we have the Vapid Click Wagon at Premium Deluxe Motorsport. Next up, we have the Vapid Rattel. After that, we have the Classy Walton the L35. These are both new vehicles. Then after that, we also have the Dundreary Landstalker XL, followed by the Classic Broadway here in this game at Premium Deluxe Motorsport. And now here at Luxury Autos on Portola, we have two of the new DLC vehicles featuring the Maibatsu Monstrosity, which you can see right here, also followed by the Grati Itali GTO Stinger TT. Kind of a mouthful to say, kind of insane, but these are some nice looking vehicles in this game. These are definitely two of my preferred vehicles or DLC vehicle releases from the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC update so far. The drip feed ones honestly don't even look that enticing to me, but that's what we have at Luxury Autos. Of course, you guys probably know from the past couple days from playing this game, but if you haven't logged on yet and you usually just keep up to date with my weekly update videos, let's just real fast go over some of the new content that was added just so you know. So we have the Grati Itali GTO Stinger 
Ringer TT, which is in the game for $2,380,000. Then now we can move on to San Andreas Super Autos. And you can see we have the Declassy Walton L35 for $1,670,000, the Vapid Rattel for $1,873,000, the Maibatsu Monstrosity for $1,485,000, and the Vapid Click Wagon for $1,205,000. After that on Warstock, you could see the new Mammoth F-160 Raiju Stealth Combat Aircraft on sale for $6.855 million, or the trade price, which is $5,141,250. And just so you guys can see, I actually have all the vehicles purchased in my garage right now. This is the Declassy Walton L35 right here. This is the Grati Itali GTO Stinger TT. I put a beautiful garnet red on here, as well as a Cabernet red um, pearlescent. I'm pretty sure, or maybe I did a wine red, but it's really sweet looking. These are not the DLC vehicles, so don't bother with these. This is the Vapid Rattel here, one of the new off-road vehicles. Not better than the Draugr, in my opinion. I definitely want to upgrade this mon uh, the Maibatsu Monstrosity. This is going to be a really fun DLC vehicle to drive. Just something really cool here. And then the Vapid Click Wagon, I'm not too, too much of a fan of. Some of you guys may like the classic cars here in this game, but definitely, you know, the wood paneling's cool. It reminds me of, like, one of the National Lampoon vacation movies. If it took place in the 1950s, that would be pretty sweet. But those are the new DLC vehicles right there. And then, of course, I have a video showcasing all the weaponry, the customization, the liveries, the combat testing, the damage testing, the armor testing, the durability, and all that of the new Mammoth F-160 Raju here on the channel as well. Definitely would appreciate if you guys could check that video out. I will link that down in the description below as well with all that said though hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today and if you did hopefully i earned your like on it and of course if you are new to my channel and you'd like to stay up to date with all the best gta online red Dead online and rockstar games content then please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel we consistently talk about updates news information tips tricks and even leaks and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you'd like to follow me over on twitch twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected with me here outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll have all those social media links down in the description below. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.